Hey everybody, this is Coach Tyra from CoachTyra.com and welcome to day 27 of my 10K 62 day video challenge. It's a beautiful day. I was going to do a cell phone video, but I, I've had a couple of people like, oh, I can't even when I turn it all the way up. And even though I will continue doing them and using my microphone and doing my best, I figured today, because of the message I had to deliver, um, and I was going to do some reading, it was easier for me to be right here, that I would, I'd cut it right here. So, with that being said, it's beautiful out. I'm really excited to see you today, and I want to thank you so much for visiting my video. I want to ask you a question, because I've been asked this a couple of times, and I find myself kind of on a prickly perch with it. And that is, how do you deal with, or how do you take feedback or suggestions or criticism or uh, you know just when somebody says something like hey you know this or that you know how do you take it now sometimes I get like whoa whoa you're not qualified to give that information to me and sometimes you know whether I'm right or wrong sometimes that's my opinion you know I'm like no you can't you can't even critique that area you don't even know you know what I'm saying so I understand if, if you're similar to that and you feel that way, maybe you'll say, well, that person has no right to offer me advice on this subject when this. That's fine. But as an entrepreneur, it's really important that you start letting go of uh, all those judgments. So maybe next time that you get critiqued or you get criticized or somebody says something from their opinion, you know, you remember first you got to take them from where they are and be okay with it. And maybe there's something in there, even if it's not fully true, that is true. And you can either clarify it for yourself or make some changes so that your life is better. You know, it's just, there ain't nothing wrong with that. So today's video, I'm going to share with you a couple of affirmations that you can use to help you be better at receiving feedback if you were... <coughs> resisting it let me how funny is that oh i probably shouldn't stop i shouldn't even stop right but yeah start tapping about it maybe maybe you would say sometimes i get upset when people say that i should be doing something differently you know sometimes it bothers me and maybe it's because i agree with them You know, sometimes I don't think people are qualified to point things out to me, even if they're true. And even if they're not true, is it so bad to get feedback? You know, even though I struggle with receiving feedback, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with me. But wouldn't it be interesting if I could receive feedback more openly and be able to do wonderful things with that feedback? I know I struggle with feedback. However, I think it's a good thing. I love feedback. Feedback is a precious gift. I love receiving feedback and sharing my observations with others. Listening to others teaches me how my behavior affects those around me. I benefit by considering events from a different perspective than my own. Others may see things that I overlook. I invite feedback by being friendly and open-minded. I express my enthusiasm and gratitude. I ask questions and take notes to show that I'm interested in what my friends and colleagues have to say. I rephrase the input I am given to ensure that my understanding is accurate. I look forward practical ways to apply the information 
and I change my behavior and track my progress. When I want to give feedback to others, I choose an appropriate time and place. I act promptly so issues can be dealt with in a timely manner. I speak directly and I speak tactfully. while still being respectful and caring. I consider the needs of others instead of focusing on what I want them to do. I acknowledge that my constructive feedback can come from many sources. A stranger may point out something useful. Feedback can be positive as well as critical. I enjoy the praise and recognition I receive. I take time to compliment others on their talents and accomplishments. Today I welcome feedback. I appreciate the opportunity to learn from others and share my perspective. The knowledge I gain helps me to grow wiser and stronger. Bam! Then you take a deep breath. Hold it. Does that feel better? So, with that being said, I just busted into a total impromptu EFT session with you because the way this, this is written out, it really worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that script in um, a blog post. You can go ahead and edit it. You should probably go a little longer because um, that was really super quick, but that doesn't it feel better? Be open-minded, be kind, accept feedback, and take it with the grain of salt that you need to take it with, and understand where people are coming from, but also recognize yourself in there. So if you find yourself getting really mad when somebody tries to give you some feedback, you really need to take a breath and relax and figure out what it is truly that upset you about it, because it's probably not what they said. It's probably how you feel when you heard it. So with that being said, this is Coach Tara with the impromptu EFT session. Who knew I was gonna do that? I didn't. Did you see, I almost stopped and I said, nah, start again, this is good. I want you to go out there, have a really great day. This is Coach Tara from CoachTara.com. And if you're interested in tapping into some of the really amazing personal development, self-development things that I've got going on for me, it's actually part of my business is part of the things that I that I go to every single day to help me become a better person and a better entrepreneur, you can go ahead over to coachtire.com forward slash 28 days. And when you get that, when you become part of my company, you get your 28 day boot camp to help you fast start your business. And the very first product that, that will introduce you to is your personal development product. And you'll be able to get information just like this every single day right at your fingertips. So with that being said, I'm out of here. Off to go enjoy my day, and I'll see you on the other side. Have a good weekend. Bye.